friends, we are in Dhammapada stanza number 212. Piyato jayati soko, piyato jayati bayam. Piyato vipamuttasa natti soko kuto bayam. Brief meaning of this stanza is from endearment springs grief. From endearment springs fear. For him who is wholly free from endearment, there is no grief, much less fear. This is the brief meaning of this stanza. In this stanza, giving us some explanation about grief and fear. What are the reasons to occur grief and fear in our mind? This is a kind of explanation that we can think, we have to think in a deeper level to understand. In this particular stanza, there are few words that we have to pay full attention. What is the things that we have endearment? The Pali word piyato, piyato. Piyato, the nature of that explanation, something attracted to you, endearment. You like it. You like to associate. You like to keep with you. You like to look at it. You like to live with these things. This is the nature of Pieto, endearment. Is there something? You are very like to, we are very, we are, we, you are very happy to see. If there is something that you like to look at and talk and associate, uh, live with, you, these are the nature of that endearment. Endearment, Pieto. We like to live with our parents. We like to live with our brothers and sisters. We like to live with our children. We like to live with our good friends. These are Pieto, endearments. So, We like to live and keep associate with them, but the nature is not allowing us to associate them all the time. Then this is another reason to arise suffering. There, there is, this is a cause for suffering when you are departing from your India one, India's. It is happening. We don't like it, but it's happening. So, in this instance, about the giving us jayati generate endearment generate endearments are generating what soko soko means grief. Lamentation, unhappy thoughts, suffering, all these things happening because you have endearments in your life. You have some people that you like to associate. There are some people that you like to keep with you. There are some people that you wanted to be with them. But it's not happening. Time to time, you have to separate from them. At the end, departing from the life, you have to depart from them. You have to separate from them. No excuse for that. When you are facing this kind of situation, Piyato Jayati Soko, then you're ready to cry. You are not able to bear that. That's why you are crying. And you are 
uh, lamentating. This happening when they departing from you, when they departing from us. And also, Pieto Jayati, Jayati Bayan, Pieto, that uh, India ones, and dear ones, springs, they are the reasons to have fear. Think about yourself. You have fear about your children. You have fear about your mother and father. You have fear about your husband and wife. Why? If there is something happen to them, if they get sick, and particularly these days, thinking of COVID situation, you have a lot of fear. Oh, whether they get defected or not, you have fear in your mind about them. Why? Because there is attachment. You like to have them. You like to be with them all the time in your whole life. You have that attachment. So now you can see there is reasons to gain grief and there is reasons to gain fear. What is that reason? That attachment. Why you have that attachment? Because of, because of your endearment springs. When you have, when you have that nature in your mind, automatically fear is arising in your mind grief is arising in your mind. This happened. This is the world, the nature of the mundane life. No one can avoid that. This is the rule that third theory explained by Newton, I said Newton, he was talking about uh, uh, materials, but there is some similarity. Every action has a reaction. The Buddha said, every volitional action has a reaction. There is a volitional action. What is that volitional action? You have so you have uh, you you have some kind of thoughts about endearments, springs. Endearment springs are there. This is the cause. This is a volitional uh, uh, volitional situation. You have these thoughts. Volitional actions are here. So as a result of that volitional action, what are the things that generate there? Generate so-called grief, generate fear, bayam, fear. All these, you don't like to have, you don't like to stay with grief, you don't like to stay with fear, but Grief and fear is the results of your endearment springs. Endearment springs. You have thoughts, you have attachment. You have thoughts to live with them, be with them, keep with them, protect with them. You are thinking their wellness. You are thinking they are comfort all the time because of that attachment. Attachment. These are the reasons to have grief and fear. To gain grief and fear, what is the reasons? The hidden one, hidden reason is attachment. Attachment comes through because of desire. Dear friends, according to the Abhidhamma explanation, there are 108 ways greed is appearing in our mind. 108 ways grief appearing in our, sorry, not grief, uh, greed appearing in our mind. 108 ways. Now you can see this is also another way, having thoughts about your endearment springs. It is the way how greed 
is arising in your mind. But that is look like not unwholesome because you have attachment to your parents. You have attachment to your children. You, have, you are attached to your brothers and sisters, siblings. There is no blame, no complaint about that. Everybody ready to accept that. But if that attachment driving into extreme level, yes, because of attachment, yes, it is it's the nature. Then you are in trouble. So in here, you can see grief is arising in your mind because of that attachment. It does not mean, okay, you as a children, you supposed to help your parents, respect your parents. That is, that is not going against, this concept is not going against for that. Yes, we should respect our parents. We should take care of our parents. We should help our family members. As a parents, you should take care of your kids. As brothers and sisters, you should share things with them. You should take care of each other. Those things are there. What the Buddha explained in Singhalovada Sutta, all these activities are there to build up that relationship. But there should be loving friendliness thoughts, compassionate thoughts, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. You should have these four qualities in your mind without developing attachment. Without, without developing attachment. Yes, we have endear ones, that is, that is those things in our mind. We have relationship with that. We like to be with them and we like to keep them with us, but it's not happening as we, as we are wishing. There are disturbances for that. It is the nature, it is the universal reality. As a result of that nature, we have attachment, we, don't, uh, we are not mindful with that attachment, then we have fear and grief. Piyato vippa muttasa, then do that twice in what we should do. For him who is wholly free from endearment, there is no grief. You are living with your parents, respecting them, take care in them. You are living with your children, take care in them, helping them. You are living with your sisters and brothers helping them, take care in them, but you don't have attachment, no attachment. So you don't have grief. Much less fear, you don't have fear too. You don't like to live with these unwholesome thoughts, grief and fear, but we are living with these grief and fear because we have attachment. So our duty, our responsibility is being mindful and reduce that attachment. It does not mean not to take care of them, not to help them. No, you have to do all these uh, uh, things. These are obligations to treat your parents, to treat your kids, to treat your brothers and sisters to treat your friends, good friends. This obligation, we should do this obligation. We're not supposed to skip this obligation. We should do, but we're not supposed to develop our greed because of them. We're not supposed to develop our attachment through your greed for them. We have to maintain loving friendliness thoughts, compassionate thoughts, sympathetic joy and equanimity using that bondage. There is a bondage with your uh, relatives, with your parents. You have that bondage by birth. But because of that bondage, you're not supposed to develop your 
unwholesome thought, your greed, that is the very important thing. But anyway, when you are maintaining that thoughts, the thoughts, endearment thoughts, endearment springs, you have to live with grief and fear, is the nature. The Buddha delivered this stanza because there was a situation. On one occasion when Buddha was living in the, in the world, rich household was very depressed over the death of his son. There was a family in India, very close to the temple where Buddha was, Savatthi, the city name is Savatthi. They were very happy. They were uh, living happily, peacefully in Savatthi. Uh, the son, their son is growing well. They were, as a parents, they were very happy about uh, their son. But unfortunately, during his teenage time period, he died. That, that young son died. As you know, it is a big loss for parents. They have a lot of thoughts of their children, but somehow that children was not able to live with them. Death is something we don't know when, how, where it's come to us. Same thing happened to that parents also. Their kid lost their life at the age 15 or 16 during teenage period. So that father was very, very upset, particularly in India. Uh, children are very important, their family, especially boys are very important those days. That is kind of uh, great things in their life, but they had one and only son he died. This situation creates so many miserable situations in their life. Every day after that death, this father going into the cemetery, he was crying and crying, crying and crying. One day in the morning, Buddha was looking at the world, who is the suitable persons to help particularly to end the sansaric suffering, then the Buddha found that person. He was fulfilling his perfections, paramita. He has enough merit to attain enlightenment. Seeing that situation, the Buddha decided to go there to see, to meet him. The Buddha met him. And then Buddha asked him, why you are crying? Then he replied, my son had died. As a father, I'm not able to tolerate that. It is a great loss for me. Then Buddha asked, your son who died, can you see him? Can you meet him again? No, no way. What is the reasons to have grief of your son? Because you have, you have attachment. That is the reason. Sorrow and fear arise out of endearments. The Buddha is starting a sermon, then giving directions. All sorrow and fear arise out of endearment. That is the reason. Perceiving the fleeting nature of life, you have to realize this reality. So, 
you must ever be mindful of the fact that life ends in death. It is the nature. No one can change that. Whether you are adult, young, baby, just born, it does not matter. Or rich or poor, it does not matter. Powerful or not powerful, it does not matter. Wise or foolish, it does not matter. When the time comes, you have to go. The life is ending with the death. You must ever be mindful of the fact that life ends in death. Do not think that only your beloved son was subject to death. Then Buddha is talking to that father. Don't think it's not happening just only for your son. It is for every living beings in this universe, not in this world, or this universe, this is the nature. Uppatya saheveda maranang agatan sada. We are coming to this world taking the death. Death is holding with us with our birth. We are the we are the place that we started to die, our birth. Our birth is the place where we started to die. Each and every moment we spend having that death with us is the nature, it is the reality. So somehow with the explanation, with the, with the help of this explanation, that person was able to realize the truth. Realizing the truth, he was able to attain Sota Panna. Stream entry, stream entry. He entered the, he attained the stream enter. First stage of sainthood. Realizing the truth. So we also have to pay attention about this. As we know, this life is remain with us until death is come to us. Life is uncertain, death is certain. All these bondages are that we can manage, that we can maintain up to our death. That's it. So we have to use these bondages, benefits for ourselves and themselves. That is our responsibility. We are not supposed to use any of these bondages to increase our unwholesome thoughts, particularly to increase our desire, greed. We have to use these bondages, relationship, endearments, endearment springs, to increase our wholesomeness. Metta, karuna, mudita, upekka. Loving friendliness, sympath uh, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. Instead of increasing desire, blindness, we have to increase our compassion, sympathetic joy, loving friendliness, and equanimity. We have to be wise. Being a wise person, seeing this reality, using each and every opportunity, we can gain our insight. This is the way how we can be positive. This is the way how we can be mindful. Mindful means we are taking all these opportunities to develop our insight not to reduce our humanity, not to reduce our human qualities, to increase our human qualities. That is our responsibility. Dear friends, human life is the most important valuable life in this universe. 
because as humans we have wonderful opportunity to develop our humanity as human you can be a god you can be a brahma and also you can be a deva you can be a, a animal how everything happen in according to your quality how much qualities you can increase and how much quality is you going to decrease because of your undeveloped mind because of your behavior that is the measurement that you can see whether you live in this world as a human beings deities celestial beings or brahma or animal life or living in the hell you can see yourself through your actions and behavior so buddha is buddha buddha was giving us all these dhamma factors for our life to gain our humanity to develop our human qualities increase our all qualities as human beings to end our suffering because the life is uncertain that is certain life is uncertain we are we are we are in the process of death we are in the process of death we are going to die we don't know how where when it comes to us until that moment we have to pay full attention to increase in a peace happiness wholesomeness that is our duty that is our responsibility so dear friends take in these things into your mind let us practice this dhamma for our own liberation one day we can establish this happiness one day we can establish this wholesomeness with us eliminating all defilements that is our goal that is our ambition that is our practice so having that aspiration we can end today program so let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the highest limbs of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much bye bye thank you thank you bye